Hey everyone, welcome and thank you for joining us for another great video here on Chuckwagon MTG. Today, we're going to be opening up more packs of this wonderful set, Ravnica Allegiance. I am having fun and a bun with this set. Um, we're building lots of crazy stuff. Some older decks that we're making are actually starting to come back as being really good. So, uh, But I digress, that's what we're not what we're doing here today. We're opening packs. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. We're going to fire this up. All right, and oh, hit the camera so it's bounce a little bit. So first off, we're going to open up a single pack of Ravnica Allegiance to go into our Patreon Build-A-Pack box. Now, because we're already halfway through our patrons for the month, uh, I'm not going to put the contents of this pack in the there quite yet. Uh, I'm going to wait uh, until after we've done all the patrons for this month so that next month everyone has the same opportunity of whatever good stuff is in this. So uh, just do a quick flip through here. All right, that's I like that card. That's good stuff. Uh, we got the Vampire, Sunder Shaman, Sentinel's Mark, and then we got hey, we got a Stomping Ground. That's some that's good stuff right there. Uh, the tokens and, and the Guild Gates were not putting in there just because. I don't think people want to be getting those when they're build a pack box. But anyways, so we're going to go ahead and put this aside. And then uh, this will go in there into the this right here, this build a pack box. Um, but it'll go in there uh, after uh, this month's already done. So first off, as for actual patrons, we have got Mr. Arthur Isakoff. Thank you very much for being a patron, sir. It is greatly appreciated, very supportive, uh, and an excellent Magic player at that uh he is a collection i would love to get my hands on um but that's neither here nor there all right for arter let's go ahead and pick we got two rares we're gonna grab that one right there we're gonna go towards the back here so we got two rares common or uncommon worth at least a buck a random foil and then a random foil basic you know my finger went right to that sleeve so that's the one we're grabbing Ta -da. All right, take these, set them aside on top of your two packs, and then we're going to grab you ten cards out of the random slots. Uh, this is all commons, uncommons. There is the occasional rare mixed in, foils. Um, there are some prize cards. Uh, you can win an extra pack of standard. You can uh, get an extra foil, extra rare. What we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight, nine, and let's try pulling from over here. Ten. All right, let's go ahead and see what we got for our turn. All right, we got a Scuttle Gator. I don't care what anyone says. Okay, let's go ahead and zoom this up. Hopefully it focuses quick. That right there is flipping scary. Okay, look at those eyes. If I saw that, I don't care what kind of powers I had. Mage, Planeswalker, nope, you're doing whatever you want. Not stopping you. <laughs> Okay, then we got a uh, Wave Skimmer, Avon, ooh, shards, uh, Moodmark Painter, we got Slime Bind, uh, a Foil, Loxodon Wayfarer from uh, Scars, Slip Through Space, Blood Tallow Candle, uh, Crawl Foragers, Assault Strobe, and Titanic Brawl. All right, let's see what we got for the Foil Basic. We got... Uh, ooh, a Fate Reforged Mountain. Random Foil is a uh, Lingering Phantom Foil. Well, that's kind of kind of pretty there. Our Common or Uncommon is Damping Sphere. Okay, I think that's still up above a buck. If it's not, we'll replace it for you. Our first rare is uh, Gyre Reach Sanitarium. I haven't seen that one in a hot minute. And our next one is Back to Basics. All right, winner, winner, chicken dinner. I'm pretty sure this one covers uh, this. Uh, yeah, th this is ten bucks. What what everything Archer is getting here is ten bucks, and I'm pretty sure this is over ten bucks right now. So, all right, well let's go ahead and see what we got in the packs. Go ahead and skip past all the the chaff here. Uh, high alert, nothing. Carnival, nothing. Uh, cavalcade of Calamity. All right, let's see what we got for our rare. It is... We got a Mythic! Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Uh, Sh Scargon Hellkite. That is fun stuff right there. I thought we had a foil, but I forgot about the that thing. So, all right, rock on. Well, you got yourself a Mythic right there. Let's move on to pack two. 
see what we can get. All right, skip, 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 skip. Eyes everywhere. I love that card. Claim Guild Mage, another Calamity, and... Are you flipping kidding me? Two Mythics, an Angel of Grace. It looks like Arter is our big winner for, for this uh, this month here. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Holy cat, sir. I mean, between those two, I just looked this up because I just pulled a couple. Um, I'm pretty sure this is above 10 bucks. I don't know where this is at. But I'm pretty sure this is above 10 bucks too, so... Arter, congratulations, sir. <laughs> All right, next up, who do we got next? We have Eric Bursch. Thank you very much for being a patron. It is greatly appreciated. Um, that's how we do all this cool, fun stuff here. Pulling cards, adding to the value train. We get two rares. The common or uncommon, worth at least a buck. Random foil, random foil basic. And we'll put those aside right now. And then we're going to grab ten cards out of here. One, two, three, four. Let's try to get this back in the center here. Let's see, we got four, uh, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. All righty. Let's see what we have here. We have got uh, Tortoise Formation, another Shards of Alara. Uh, I must have more of that in here than I thought I did. Uh, we've got Meandering River. We have got Evolving Wilds, Crushing Canopy. Uh, we've got a Sure Strike, Mephetic Vapors, a Mortify. That's not too bad. Stony Strength, another good one. Uh, Slinvada, The Rising Deep, and then Blade Instructor. Good stuff. All right, our foil basic is... Uh, looks like we got a Plains from... Um, I can't remember if that's Shadow over Innistrad. I think that's Shadow over Innistrad. I, I, I could be wrong. Maybe it's Eldritch Moon. I, I always get those two confused. Anywho, our random foil is a Foil Divest... I like that one, too. Uh, then we got a Blossoming Defense. Um, I honestly don't know where it's at. Like I said, I'll double check. If it's not worth at least a buck, we'll go ahead and replace it for you. Uh, we got a Pelt Collector as our first rare. That's not too bad. And then we got a Thief of Sanity. All right. Well, let's see if we can uh, top what we opened for Arter um, in the packs here. All right, skip, 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 skip. All right. We have got, uh, let's see, Skate Wing Spy. Rhythm of the Wild. That's not too bad. Azoria Skyguard. And we got a Tome of the Guild Pack. Good stuff there. And then we get our second pack. Come on, something good. Uh, we got a troll bread guardian, uh, basilica, uh, yeah, basilica bell haunt, Orzhov enforcer, and we got a glass of the guild pact. Huh. Um, I'm thinking that this, these are wanting you to play multiple. I, I don't know why. Is getting that All right. Well, thank you very much uh, for being a patron, Eric. It is greatly appreciated. Go ahead and put that stuff aside for you there. Uh, who do we have next? Next, we have uh, Jeffrey Peters. Thank you very much for being a patron. It is greatly appreciated. We got a rare. We get another rare. Common or uncommon? Uh, we'll grab towards the front for a foil. A foil basic. We'll take that one. And then we're going to grab ten cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, oops, uh, seven, eight, 
nine, and this one feels lucky, ten. All right, let's see what we got. We got Catacomb. We got a camera that's way out of focus. There we go. Uh, Catacomb Crocodile. Teljalad Defiance. Rebel Belt Recluse. A Giant Spider from Core 19. A Mammoth Spider. Uh, Volshock Heartstroker. Gurmag Angler. That, that's not too shabby. Uh, oh, got a rare in here. A Verdant Force. We Dragonauts. And then... Another rare, uh, Demon of Catastrophes. Nice. Looks like you got a couple little extra bonuses in there. All right, our foil land is going to be, uh, ooh, a mountain from M11. That's pretty. Uh, Goblin Electromancer as the random foil. And then we got uh, a Spell Snare. That's not, that's not bad at all. I like Spell Snare. I like the art, too. It just, you know, there's, there's that little wolf, and he's just, uh, oh, is it going to focus? Of course not. There we go. Look at that poor little wolf. He's like, oh, help me. Help me. Help me. I'll move on. I apologize. Anywho, all right, our next rare is uh, Mishra's Self-Replicator. There are so many ways to break this thing. I, I love this card. Anything where you can make free stuff. I mean, not free, but... Anything, you can just copy stuff. It's just always fun. All right, and then we got a Return to Ranks. That's nice, too. All righty, let's see what we got in our packs. I completely missed the garbage on that one. Uh, all right, uh, let's see what we got here. We've got uh, Dispose and Deploy. Uh, Silhana Wayfinder, Forbidding Spirit, and then we got a P Plaza of Harmony. And I think we got a foil too. Uh, no, I lied. I apologize. All right, so yeah, you got that uh, Plaza of Harmony. Um, I could be wrong. I don't think this thing is a whole lot right now, but I'm digging this card. I I really am. A, a land um, that doesn't enter tapped. It gains you life, and if you're playing gates, it can make multiple colors. I, I, I like it. I really do. Anywho, uh, let's see what we have in our next pack for you. Uh, Archway Angel, Sky Tether, Spire Mangler, and then we got End Raise Forerunners. Okay, now this thing, I don't think the value is up there, but I will tell you right now, this is awesome this is like edh um essentially it's a a much smaller crater hoof behemoth like a secondary crater hoof behemoth um i actually put one in my edh jack deck just for that reason should they get rid of the crater hoof this is a uh, like my backup plan i guess so anyways that's what you got there good stuff good stuff all right up uh, oh Sorry, I hit the camera again. Well, thank you very much for being a patron. Next up, we have Joel Sudnahusky. Got your two packs here. Thank you very much for being a patron. It is greatly appreciated. We got one rare. We got two rares. Uh, we're going to go towards the very front for your common or uncommon. We'll do the same for the random foil, and then we're going to do the same for the basic land. The foil, basic land. And then we're going to grab 10 cards out of here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Don't worry, folks. I am working on a new setup so you can actually see more of the box. I'm pulling stuff out. It's just... What if, with what I have right now, it's just not doable. So I apologize. All right, let's see what we got here. We got an inspired charge, uh, black cleave goblin. That guy, this was actually pretty dang good. Uh, in in limited, I will say back then, uh, a two one with haste and the fact that is in fact that's pretty good. Uh, we got a volcanic strength. We got a switcheroo. We got a power stone shard. Uh, dredgescape zombie. Dredgescape zombie. I there must be. 
I must have put a bunch of shards in here and not, re <laughs> not realized it or just forgot or whatever. Uh, we got Watcher in the Mist. We got Grasping Throw. Rustwing Falcon. And a Fairy Duelist. All right. Our foil basic is... Ooh, a Scars Swamp. Our random foil is a quarter shield, another scars. Our random, or our, uh, common run, common order, ladies and more. Wow, I spaced. Um, we have got cast it down. Pretty sure it's still up there. We then have a dragon's horde for our rare. And our second rare is Cabal Stronghold. Loving this card in, um, Chromatic Black. That is such a fun deck. Such a fun deck. All right, let's go ahead and open your packs here. See what we got ya. Oop. Already here. Skip by the chaff. Uh, let's see. You got clear the stage. Firewheeler. Rumbling Ruin. And our rare is Judith the Scourge Diva. This card right here is going places. I don't think the value is really high right now. Give it a week. This card is flipping good. Alrighty. Yeah, I just... I've got a couple different builds I've been kind of working on um, for Arena for that. And, man, the, the team buff is so nice. Um, the fact that it's cheap makes it good and then the fact it can deal that extra bit of damage which is essentially what black and red i mean that's it th that's essentially the game it's you're doing as much damage as possible and then you're trying to i mean you got that explosive start and then after that it's just kind of pinging them and getting through every bit you can as they start to stabilize so all right we got the the rhino <clears throat> excuse me we got spirit of the spires uh, Spire Mangler, and then we got a Kaya's Wrath, and then we did get a foil in this. Our foil is, uh, ooh, Sphinx's Insight. Not too shabby at all. All right. Well, that's what we got here, folks. Um, thank you very much for being a patron, Joel. It is greatly appreciated. And go ahead and put your cards aside right here. Um, if, uh, if you liked what you saw here today, do us a huge favor. Click that like button. Be, here, be sure to hit subscribe. I'm just, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> hit the bell notification button so you can tell we have new stuff coming out. And then be sure to share this with your friends, your family, your loved ones, and your pets. Everyone could use a little more magic in their lives. Once again, thank you very much for watching. As always, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter, MTG.